Hey everyone, what's going on? Back with another video, and this is Pixel Density and Why It Matters. Every day you hear about different screens with different resolutions like 720 or 1080 or 2K or 4K. All of these are numbers, and bigger doesn't necessarily mean better. At least until you understand how screen resolution, screen size all relate to pixel density. Pixel density, or pixels per inch, or PPI for short, refers to how many pixels there are within an inch of space. If you're interested in the actual mathematics of PPI, I'm not sure why you would be, but here's how you can measure it out. PPI equals the root of the width squared plus the height squared divided by the diagonal of the device. It's a variation of the Pythagorean theorem, which a squared plus b squared equals c squared, but that doesn't really matter because it's a bunch of math mumbo jumbo. So what does this mean and how does it apply to technology and screens? The higher the PPI of the screen, the sharper the image because there's more pixels to create the image within the screen. Most likely you're watching this on a smartphone, let's say the Galaxy S7, which has a 5.1 inch 2560 by 1440 screen, or maybe you're watching it on the iPhone 7 Plus, which is a 5.5 inch 1920 by 1080 screen. You can clearly see that the iPhone has the larger screen, but the Galaxy is the one with the higher resolution. If we take the screen resolution and screen size and input them into a PPI calculator, we come out with the following numbers. The Galaxy S7 has a pixel density of 576, whereas the iPhone 7 Plus has a pixel density of 401 PPI, which means that the Galaxy has a sharper image compared to the iPhone. However, the downside of a higher pixel density on a smartphone is that it requires more battery life in order to power each individual pixel. So the more pixels, the more battery drainage. So in theory, you could have a longer battery life if you get a phone with a 1080 screen. The second issue of having such a high density and such a small screen is that, well, the screen is super small. So small, in fact, that having a 1080 resolution is clear and the 2560 by 1440 resolution is only a little bit clearer. Both work fine, both images are clear, but some enthusiasts might want to get longer battery life and other enthusiasts might want to have the clearer resolution. But let's say you're watching this on a TV or a computer monitor where the screen size is larger so therefore the pixel density actually matters a little bit more. Now take for example my own setup. About two years ago I was searching for a monitor and I knew that I wanted a 27 inch monitor but I wasn't sure what resolution I should get. I could either get a 27 inch 1920 by 1080 monitor also known as HD or a 2560 by 1440 monitor also known as QHD, Quad HD. The density of the HD screen is 82 ppi, whereas the density of the QHD screen is 109 ppi. Both of these are physically the same size, but the QHD crams more pixels in for the inch. This results in a higher pixel density and a much sharper image. This works really, really well for whenever you're trying to game because the higher pixel density means you have a sharper image. It sounds awesome, but there's a few other caveats to having a higher resolution screen. If you're looking to buy a screen or a computer monitor of whatever size and you know what size you're gonna get, the 1080 screen is gonna be significantly cheaper than buying something of the same size with a higher resolution because the amount of pixels that are crammed into that space. The other downside is that not all content online is higher than 1440. In fact, on YouTube, most videos are at 1080. All in all, it's not only about the screen size, but it's also about the resolution of the screen itself. As a gamer, the higher PPI is definitely worth it for the clearer images, but as a content consumer, the increased density doesn't matter if the original video is uploaded in 1080 and then you watch it in 1080. So be sure to take that into account the next time you buy a phone or a monitor and it might help you out a lot. So I'll leave you with one question before I go. What has a higher pixel density? A 16 inch 1280 by 720 screen, a 24 inch 1920 by 1080 screen, or a 48 inch 3840 by 2160 screen? What do you think of my explanation of pixel density? Are you guys still left confused? Did I clarify anything for you? Did you learn anything new? Let me know what you guys think and if I should continue giving little quick bits of information like this to you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next video. 